Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're doing a video that a lot of people are requesting me to do. I did this video, I want to say, a year ago, a year and a half ago. And this was the video actually that made our channel boost up a little bit. Because there was a video, watch this before you buy a BMW, which I'm leaving the thumbnail right here in the click so you guys can go check it out. But in this video, I've had this car for two years now, going for three. It's going to be my review after 20,000 miles of ownership of a BMW, how my journey started and how's it going so far and what are the plans for the future. All right, let's first get started of how much this car was in the first place my bmw was actually 50 something thousand plus tax and everything else so i know for you guys that might be a lot but this car brand new the new m340s i want to say this is basically the m340 i know it doesn't have the m battery or anything but if you guys have the m performance everything before it was called the m performance package now they just call it stupid m340 which is basically the same thing but now the car is going around fifty four thousand dollars or sixty thousand dollars with the full everything so it's basically the same thing this car was around sixty thousand dollars and from what started it started with 300 horsepower and what i got with that was everything you guys see in here but it only had 300 horsepower i mean it wasn't slow because i came from a lexus and lexus are kind of slow but i drove 5.0 had a honda well, so we came down there lexus is nothing it was the lc 500 lexus it was a slow one so i didn't really like it, it. Was AMG. either way so the way that i started with this car i looked it up i researched it because i wanted a 335 for the longest time and i ended up finding this one i really wanted it in manual transmission but i couldn't find it manual so i ended up going with the automatic which i still don't approve of it but I mean there's nothing to do now either way after all that thing I got my car on January 1st of 2019 it's been two years already the first thing this car I realized was it was quiet but it wasn't really that quiet because we got the M performance exhaust remember so it wasn't really an exhaust exhaust but it's the exhaust that BMW's M models come with because one more time this is a stupid M340 but it's the M335 which is the same thing it was nice sounding exhaust I'm gonna leave a clip right here so you guys can check it out but I actually do like the way it sounds more now but check out this video <laughs> Back then, I was the MPG for my car was decent. It was not good. It was not bad. It was decent. It was like around 20 MPG, around 18. It's almost the same as now, honestly. If you guys saw my last video, which I'm leaving right here. Okay, after that, what happened with that? I started like learning how to drive a BMW the right way because like I didn't have a BMW before this one. I had a BMW before, before that one, which was a little set for. One thing that I realized about the BMWs is it's a completely different car to drive. It's just starting by the different kinds of mold that they have. This start by the fact the handling. The handling is really good in this car, but it also depends on what tires you guys are running. Like I said on my tire video if you guys want grippy tires you guys stick to continental tires you know this car is going to go anywhere even if you have it on sport plus which is the transmission turn off around 50 percent this car is not going anywhere it's really hard to do a donut it's hard to do like a power slide it's hard to do a drift that's the reason why me in my case i don't like to run my continental and like to like i like slippy tires because it's better for me in my opinion every guy has a different opinions so i'm starting with the handling of the car the handling of the car is really good depending on the tires you're getting but still for a car that's rear wheel drive it does not come with an lsd which you guys don't know that's a limited slip differential which basically means well the tires spin at the same time not one by one which is an open slip differential which is what i have on this car at the moment you can weld it or you can change it after that i realized the tunability that this cars have the one thing about the bmw 335 this cars have a huge market for the aftermarket community especially because the f30 platform especially the n55 engine which was a successor of the n54 335 engine from the bmws but the thing is the tunability ability that you can do in this car is amazing the amount of tunes you guys can do the amount of mods you guys can do and honestly they're not that expensive you will expect for a bmw to be so expensive but it's not really that much i think it was more for draws mustang right how much was your lawn tune it was 800 and for this one the boot mod is 599 which is basically 600 but what i'm trying to tell you is the tunability for this car is great and also it's not that expensive you guys might think and the cooler is 400 bucks intake is 300 bucks charge pipe is 200 bucks down pipe is 200 bucks exhaust is expensive but that's almost for every car but what i'm saying is don't be scared of tuning these cars because it's not that expensive you guys might think yes it is a bmw but it's not that expensive another thing that i learned about this cars it's all the things secretly that you can code i made different videos about this with an app called beamer code and an app called beamer link beamer link is the app where you can open your exhaust flaps on the bmw you have two exhausts not the quads but just dual exhaust like this because if you guys don't know all the exhausts are actually quiet because one of the pipes is open and the other one is closed so beamer link is an app that you can open both of them at the same time you can delete permanent codes and you can also check status of your car delete coast 
permanent codes, see what's wrong with your car and everything. And Beamer code is the app where you can code everything. Like me, I have the code, the side blinkers are off. I also coded how my mirror's tilted. I coded when I brake that my lights will flash in the back. I coded that my car exhaust is always open, which now it doesn't matter because I disconnected this in the Golf T-Mart for the BMW F30, which I also did a video about. Coded the lighting. I also coded the dials for the HP and the torque. I coded the side lighting. So you guys, like I was explaining to you, I want to say for this car on only in mods and codes and everything, I spent it, well, basically nothing because everything was sponsored by, sponsored by BRSF and some other performance aerodynamic parts that I got for free. So I basically haven't spent more than a thousand bucks on my car. One thing I'm trying to explain to you is, is how much you're getting for actually tuning these cars for the cheap mods. Cause I was talking about it with Joe right now. It's like, you can buy these cars and then start throwing mods. Like I said, this BMW comes with 300 horsepower. And if you get the M performance version with the M335, there'll be 330 horsepower and 330 torque. So the first thing you do is you slap an intake, not that expensive. You slap a tune and then right there, you just have hundred horsepower or 75 to 80 horsepower. It's, it's pretty good. Cause because what? Tune is 500 bucks. I know that's expensive, but 500 bucks for a tune. And then for 200 more bucks, you buy an intake. And then you start doing it little by little. You guys are going to realize that your car, how much HP it's gaining by little cheap mods, you know? But yeah, guys, the tuning availability and the amount of money you get into this car is really great. So with two years of ownership with this car, what I've done is I modified this car to my liking. I spent this six months without this car being modded, but I like to break it in. So for six months, I didn't tune it. I didn't do anything. I waited. And after that, I got used to the car driving by itself the way it does. And honestly, guys, the way this car is coming, it's really fast. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not extremely fast, like a Hellcat fast, but it's actually not as much as bad as you guys think. It's actually really fast. You get a lot of power by the mods you're doing with this car. It's extremely good. You guys will not regret getting a car like this. I am going to tell you though, guys, mileage is pretty bad. It's not the best miles per gallon, but honestly, with the amount of power you guys can make, this thing beats a Mustang GT as cab back. Let me, let, let me go on here to just explain a little bit. The new M340s are actually really fast with like the small amount of mods. You can actually be a Hellcat. As you know, those are words from a guy who got smoked by my 35 still butthurt. Let me tell you why. Because the difference is these cars are twin turbo. The twin turbo makes them take off quicker. So he lost from a dig either way. Not before the 10 speeds came out. I'm about to get a 10 speed. So I'm gonna smoke him on a stock 10 speed Mustang. Another thing that I learned main is about this car. Main is not that bad. I mean, I want to see if you guys know a little bit about your cars. First of all, if you're doing a car like this, you better know a little bit about maintenance, you know? Because even though you're gonna be getting scammed by every mechanic in this city, I would expect that you guys at least know how to do your own oil, oil change. Because let me tell you, I thought I have free oil changes on my service and I did have, but they scammed me and I had to pay almost a thousand bucks for an oil change. And they would tell me, oh, it's because of all the fees and the workers and because we clean your injectors. No, it was just an oil change and they changed, charged me like $8.99. So if you guys know, at least try to do your own oil change in this car. Try to do like change your own spark plugs because if not, they're going to be charging you a lot. So like I was saying, if you guys know, do at least a little bit of mechanic, try to get something like this. I don't think an oil change worth 700 bucks. Dro, Dro, he just got his car oil. How much did you pay? 45 bucks for an oil change. That's how much you should be paying. He shouldn't be paying that much for a car. Oil change, 900 bucks. You guys be crazy. But in two years of ownership, it didn't really give me a lot of problems because let's have in mind this car and modified it. So it should be giving me a lot more problems, but it actually doesn't. If you guys know, I have a full bolt on BMW. Spark plugs are still fine. Everything else is still fine. One line did explode it though. That's, I think that's the only issue I had it where I'm leaving the thumbnail here again, which was the cooling hose thing, which I think was radiator hose. That one did explode on me, but I saved it so everything is fine with the car. After that, exhaust, I had a problem with it too, but that's because the exhaust was aftermarket too. So like I'm saying, once the car, the problems with the cars by itself, there's not a lot of many. Ah, my problems are because they're aftermarket, but if it's a car by itself, the car will not give you any maintenance problems for, in my opinion, because I've had this car so I can talk now. By the time I made that video, I only had less than a year with the car, but now I have two and a half years so I can tell you, maintenance is not that bad. Don't let a lot of people scare you about how bad BMWs are. I don't want to be flaming. I don't want to be like throwing shit out, but I, the N54 engines, the one before this one, don't get me wrong, it's a really powerful BMW, but it's famous for being so unreliable. I actually liked that car until I found out how unreliable that car actually was. Don't get me wrong, the N54 with a fat turbo like will make a huge amount of power. I just don't think it's worth like at the same time you guys are not trying to find a car that's like that old and everything. Just go with a 335 N55 engine. Well, one thing more about this car is the tires. I uh, like I said, these cars don't have an LZ, they have an open slip differential. But honestly, these tires, if you're not doing any stupid stuff, they should last you a year. I'm gonna say that's a good thing, but at the same time, it's not that good because if you're paying each tire is like 500 bucks, and if you're paying that much, the tires should last for more than a year. And this without doing stupid stuff, you know, donuts, burnouts, no. I'm talking about real usual driving where you're like on the freeway, you're speeding, stuff like that, but you're not like actually smoking them, they should last you a year. And if you're lucky, probably more, that's my experience. At the same time, I buy my tires used because I know they don't last me for that long, but they should last you actually like a good amount of time. To finish off this video, one do regret thing that I have about this car is I don't like the Bluetooth system. I don't know if you guys have the same problem with this one, but the Bluetooth system, you'll be driving and that thing will disconnect. 
I don't know her. I am not sure why. What will I buy this car again? Yes, I would. Would I buy the M340? No. Yes, he would. I will buy the M340. The only problem with the M340 is a brand new car, so there's not a lot of mods available for it yet. So that car, you guys have to drive it stock because they do have an exhaust and tunes now, but it's like hard to find mods because it just got released. So this car already has a couple years in it. So with this car, we're being like a little older now. You guys can find a lot of mods for cheap, and if you guys want, you can have it secondhand the mods. So it's actually gonna be it for the video, guys. Like I said, everything else is coded in the inside, coded the alarms, coded everything else. So like I said, I will definitely buy this car again. I don't have any regrets with it. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching, guys, for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. But yeah, guys, if you guys want to support this channel, remember just to subscribe and hit the like button and comment whatever you guys like. Share this video to your friends and family because that's the only way this channel is gonna get discovered. Because we're in the role for a thousand subs, so we can get paid in draw. We're, we're gonna, gonna do big things. Yes, and draw is gonna be able to pay rent this month. So yeah, guys, it's gonna be thanks to you. So that's gonna be it. I'll see you next week. Have fun, guys. Enjoy.